Our dear brothers and sisters, we're so grateful for this opportunity that we have as an area presidency to join with you during your fifth Sunday lesson. We hope that following this short video, you will have a meaningful council session in your wards and branches, as well as in your homes about how you can make the area plan a meaningful part of your lives. Last November, we introduced a heightened vision to make Christ the center of our lives under the banner, Come unto Christ, I will go, I will serve. This theme reminds us of the Lord's teachings that we most effectively draw near to the Savior and feel His comfort and His power in our lives when we make and keep sacred covenants through the ordinances of the gospel. We're grateful for previous area plans that have helped prepare us for this higher and holier vision and focus on drawing nearer to Christ in our personal lives. You will recall that under the prior area plan, the focus was on obey, covenant, and establish. Each of these elements included a separate list of priorities we should implement in our lives. The plan consisted of two full pages of instruction. As we move forward today to the adjusted area plan, we reemphasize that the primary focus is on coming unto Christ. The path is simple and described by the well-known phrase, I will go, I will serve. Our desire for you is that as you adopt this motto in your families, you will say, I will go. And in your minds, you will think, I will go to the ordinances and covenants of the gospel. As a reminder, the area plan lists the saving ordinances, which include baptism and confirmation, ordination to the priesthood, and receiving the blessings of temple ordinances. This path unto Christ is simple, direct, and clear. Next, we declare, I will serve. The motivating power of the ordinances strengthens our conversion to the gospel and drives us to look for ways to serve others. As you declare in your personal lives and in your families, I will serve, think of our Philippines area priorities, including temple and family history, serving a mission, ministering and gathering scattered Israel through love, share, and invite, as well as linking arms with missionaries in the ministry to part member families. With this heightened vision, no longer do we say, I will go, I will serve, and only think of going on a mission. This area plan represents so much more than that. Come unto Christ, I will go, I will serve, is a springboard for a lifetime of sincere participation in the ordinances and covenants of the gospel and serving others to help bring them to the ordinances and covenants of the gospel as well. Brothers and sisters, before I continue, let me re-emphasize that our highest goal is to come unto Christ, and it is through the ordinances and covenants of the gospel that we come unto Christ. Baptism is the gateway to the covenant path that leads to Christ. Daily repentance and partaking of the sacrament each Sunday allows us to keep the companionship of the Holy Ghost we received at the time we were confirmed members of the church. Priesthood ordination allows us to help others experience the same saving ordinances and all of these things prepare us to enter the Lord's holy temple. I hope that we will all set our sights on the temple this year. Speaking of the blessings of the temple, President Nelson declared, quote, it is his house. It is filled with his power. Let us never lose sight of what the Lord is doing for us now. He is making his temples more accessible. He is accelerating the pace at which we are building temples 
He is increasing our ability to help gather Israel. He is also making it easier for each of us to become spiritually refined. I promise that increased time in the temple will bless your life in ways nothing else can." Close quote. If you have been planning to go to the temple, but for some reason have not yet accomplished that goal, I invite you to talk to your bishop and seek help to overcome whatever obstacles are in your way. As a family, set a goal to be sealed in the temple by helping every member to prepare. To our youth, young single adults and unendowed adult members, ask your bishop or branch president to help you prepare for and receive a temple recommend. I promise you, having and using your temple recommend will be a cherished blessing in your life. As President Nelson said at the October 2019 General Conference, quote, Individual worthiness to enter the Lord's house requires much individual spiritual preparation. But with the Lord's help, nothing is impossible. In some respects, it is easier to build a temple than it is to build a people prepared for a temple. Individual worthiness requires a total conversion of mind and heart to be more like the Lord, to be an honest citizen, to be a better example, and to be a holier person." Close quote. To ward and branch councils, we encourage you to identify individuals and families who require assistance in preparing to enter the temple. Organize a temple preparation class and make it a goal for every student to finish the course and to go to the temple to participate in holy ordinances and make sacred covenants that will bless their lives. Our focus in all that we do as members of the Church is on the enabling power that comes through our Savior, Jesus Christ. Coming unto Christ and participating in the ordinances of the Gospel and particularly temple ordinances are inseparably connected. Our prayer is that we may all decide within ourselves to leave this meeting today with a firm and unwavering resolve to come unto Christ. I will go. I will serve. Thank you, Elder Bengal, for laying the groundwork as we present the area plan. Your explanation of why and how we should come unto Christ makes it easier to understand that it is indeed th through temple ordinances and covenants that we can best come unto Him. Hello, brother, brothers and sisters all over the Philippines. I am grateful for the enthusiastic response you gave when we launched the Come Unto Christ, I Will Go, I Will Serve initiative, which now applies to all members of the Church, not just the youth and YSA. As Elder Bengal discussed the different, uh, different ordinances and covenants under the banner of I Will Go, I was thinking of the things we can do at home to help strengthen individuals and families so they can each proudly proclaim, I will serve. And several holy habits and righteous routines came to mind. And I am certain that engaging in the, them will develop within us the desire to serve and the strength to do what is right and stay on the covenant's path. By definition, a holy habit is positive behavior that is spiritual or religious. It is second nature to you, something you do automatically without being reminded. A righteous routine is similar because it is virtuous or normal, morally, a right, fixed program or series of actions that you follow regularly. So a holy habit or a righteous routine is a, anything you do regularly that helps you to come unto Christ. President Thomas S. Monson declared, quote, 
We have three classrooms of learning, the classroom at school, the classroom at church, and the classroom called home, the most significant of all classrooms in the classroom of the home. It is in the home that we, for, we form our attitude and our beliefs, end of quote. A first presidency letter sent in February 1999 counseled members of the church around the world to help children acquire holy habits and righteous routines in the home. Quote, we counsel parents and children to give highest priority to family prayer, family home evening, gospel study and instruction, and wholesome family activities. However, worthy and appropriate other demands or activities may be, they must not be permitted to display the divinely appointed duties that only parents and families can adequately perform." End of quote. When the Come Follow Me Home Center Church Supported Approach to Scripture Study was introduced in, to, in the 2019 October General Conference, it was not difficult for Brother Jaime Raimondo of General Santos City in South Cotabato to comply. Holding weekly family home evenings, praying and studying the scriptures as a family were already among the holy habits and righteous routine they had. When their five children were growing up, he noticed it was difficult for his wife, Teresita, whenever he was stationed away from home for months at a time. So in 2006, Jim opted for an, an early retirement from his career as a soldier. As a result of both parents focusing their energy on raising their children in the gospel, all of their children were blessed by seminary and institute program with two serving full-time missions. With coming unto Christ as the priority of his family, Brother Raimondo cherished the ordinances and covenants they made. Beginning from his baptism in 1983, his endowment and their family sealing in 1993, and their trips to the temple today as he serves as the high counselor assigned to family history. He serves by being in the Stake Family History Center seven days a week to assist the members as they do family history work. As the advisor of the Elders, Elders Quorum in General Santos First World, he also goes out every Sunday with the, with the presidency to go on ministering visit. They set an example to the rest of the world by linking arms with the full-time missionaries and focusing on part member families. When fellowshipping new converts, he introduced them to family history work and helped them to prepare for temple. Quote, as an official in the Sargent Tribal and Agricultural Corps, I also introduced family history to my fellow officers and some of them have been to church. That is how I followed I follow the love, share, in my counsel of the brethren to reach out to my neighbors." End of quote. As a result of coming unto Christ through temple covenants and ordinances, the desire of Brother Jaime to go and serve is magnified, and he finds great joy in serving with his family. His five children, seven grandchildren, and countless generations to come are blessed in return. May more Filipino families enjoy these same blessings as they unite under the banner, come unto Christ, I will go, I will serve. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Well, thank you, Elder Che, for introducing the family of Brother Jaime and Sister Teresita Raimundo. Nais ko silang pasalamatan at ang maraming pang ibang pamilya sa Luzon, Visayas at Mindanao na nagpakita rin ng halimbawa ng mga alituntuning na papaloob sa ating bagong area plan na lumapit kay Kristo, haayo ako at maglilingkod. 
What I want to share with you tonight is along the same vein, and I take inspiration from Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. But in training our children, I hope we emphasize the teaching part so they will gain an understanding of the principles behind the commandment we are training them to obey. As explained by Elder Jack A. Gosland of the Presidency of the Seventy at the October 1995 General Conference, I quote, Sometimes I think that we fear too much to link all of our teaching to the foundation of gospel truths. Too often, perhaps, we teach children to obey a law or a principle because our family expects that obedience. They might observe another truth in order to please a neighbor or a bishop and another for yet some other reason. When we teach an eternal truth to our children and don't explain it in the context of a firm testimony of the Savior, we miss the power of the example of the greatest teacher the world has ever known. Close quote. Lagi nating ituro sa ating mga anak ang dahilan ng bawat kautusan o alintuntunin ng Ebanghelyo. Imumulat nito ang kanilang mga mata, palalaguin ang kanilang pangunawa, at aantigin ang kanilang puso. Just like the new For the Strength of Youth resource, which is aptly called A Guide for Making Choices, where no specific list of do's and don'ts are presented, but instead the focus is on gospel principles, agency, and inspiration. The new pamphlet points the youth to Jesus Christ. It helps us to come unto Christ. So how will you discuss the principles of the new area plan with your children? In your home evening lessons, you can review and discuss the messages we are sharing today. And you can even review the messages we shared at the fireside last November 20 in Cebu. All this information will be included in the Area Plan app, which is being updated and will be available shortly. You may go to Google Play for Android and the App Store for iOS devices and download the app for free. The app has events and news section where exclusive content from the area like special messages, live events, news items, and other local and global stories. This latest update will also have a music player where you can create your own playlist of sacred music produced by the church. Para matulungan ang bawat member ng simbahan na mag-set ng personal at family goals ngayong 2023 sa ilalim ng era plan na come unto Christ, I will go, I will serve, panoorin natin brothers and sisters Ang susunod na video na special na inanda para tulungan ng ating primary at youth na makita ang ugnayan ng area plan at ng covenant path. Ganda talaga ng bagong area plan. Hmm, paano pa ya po desundan ang moto na Come on to Christ, I will go, I will serve. Hi JT! Kumusta ka na? Uy, hi Kobe! Hi Patty! Uy, JT, salamat ulit sa pag-invite sa amin sa 12th birthday party mo, ha? Oo nga. Ang saya at ang sarap ng pagkain. Happy birthday Happy ulit. Birthday. Salamat. Ano pa lang ginagawa mo dito? Iniisip ko lang kung paano ko susundin ang 2023 area plan. May ideas ba kayo, Kobe and Patty? Uh, ang una nating tandaan, kailangan nating sundan ang covenant path na itinuro ni President Russell M. Nelson. Oo, tama. In order to come unto Christ, we have to follow the covenant path. Yes! Ang covenant path ay yung daan pabalik kay Heavenly Father. Di ba nag-start ka na by being baptized and receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost? At para sa iyo, as a son of our Heavenly Father, to receive ang priesthood. Yes, excited na nga akong ma-ordain na deacon sa Aaronic Priesthood. At bilang isang member ng simbahan, 
importante mag-set din ng goals gaya ng mag-attend palagi ng sacrament meeting every Sunday to renew our baptismal covenants. Kaya pala sinasabi sa area plan na I will go to the ordinances and covenants of the gospel. Tama! Kaya nga, goal ko talaga ay I will go to the temple by becoming worthy as I keep the commandments. Ako rin! I will go and make myself worthy for the house of the Lord so my family can be together forever! <laughs> Salamat, Kobe and Patty. Alam ko na din kung anong gagawin ko. Under, I will serve. Huh? A ano? I will prepare now so that when I grow up, I will serve a mission. Tama! <laughs> and as I prepare, I will serve sa iba-ibang ways in the church, gaya ng pag sa seminary, accepting callings, magnifying my priesthood, ministering, and other gospel activities. Yan ang gawin natin na milestone sa ating covenant path para makabalik tayo kay Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ. So brothers and sisters, this 2023, sama-sama po tayo lumakad sa covenant path as we come unto Christ, I will go, I will serve. Tama? Tama! Punta rin kayo sa bahay namin. Ay, oh, sige. Kain ulit tayo. Masasarap ko na kain. Ay, maraming pagkain. Oh, sige, oh, oh, gusto ko yan. naman ako. <laughs> As demonstrated in the video, Kobe and Patty helped JT understand that the area plan can be used as a tool to determine his progress along the covenant path. JT was able to set future goals to help him track his progress on the path. Sa ating buhay, ang pagtahak sa covenant path ay tumutulong sa atin na makilala ng gusto ang ating Ama sa Langit at si Yeso Cristo at bumuo ng malalim na personal na relasyon o ugnayan sa kanila. Tinutulungan tayo nitong madama ang kanilang lubos na pagmamahal para sa atin na naghahatid sa atin ng pag-asa, kagalakan at kapayapaan. As President Russell M. Nelson said in the last October 2022 General Conference, We can overcome the world and find true rest, meaning relief and peace by entering into a covenant relationship with God, which binds us to Him in a way that makes everything about life easier. He said, please do not misunderstand me. I did not say that making covenants makes life easy. In fact, expect opposition because the adversary does not want you to discover the power of Jesus Christ. But joking yourself with the Savior means you have access to His strength and redeeming power. He also reaffirmed a profound teaching of President Esau Taft Benson. I quote, Men and women who turn their lives over to God will discover that He can make a lot more out of their lives than they can. He will deepen their joys, expand their vision, quicken their minds, lift their spirits, multiply their blessings, increase their opportunities, comfort their souls, raise up friends, and pour out peace. I conclude with our beloved prophet's promise that as we come unto Christ and let Him prevail in our lives, we will have greater peace, confidence, joy, and yes, rest. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you, Elder Che, and thank you, Elder Revilio. Thank you, brethren, for your wonderful messages today. Brothers and sisters, as an area presidency, we hope that every Filipino Latter-day Saint home will have a poster of the 2023 area plan so that the members of the family will be reminded daily to come unto Christ. We pray that you will take to heart this heightened vision that will empower you to come unto Christ, to feel His love, and to receive His comforting, healing, and strengthening blessings in your life. 
We love you, and we hope that you will now enjoy an added portion of the Spirit of the Holy Ghost as you counsel together on how you can best implement the Come unto Christ, I will go, I will serve area plan in your lives. In the sacred name of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Amen.